Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another clean video. Today we are deep cleaning my bathroom, so let's get straight on into it. Here is the before and the current state, and yeah, we're gonna have a really good deep clean of this today. Okay, so starting with the bath, we're gonna take this flash bathroom liquid. I actually saw Mrs. Hinch using this. Yes, I've been influenced by her, um, like everybody has. But yeah, I've never used it, so I was really intrigued to see how it works and stuff, because she said it smells amazing, and honestly, this smells so unbelievably fresh. It has like an added Febreze smell. So yeah, I really, really recommend it, and it really gets your bath looking so super clean as well. So I just simply, Popped it in, I left it for a couple of minutes, um, it does say not to leave for too long and then I have, I think this is from Dishmatic, it's actually a bath sponge, so it has two different sides, so I use the first si side to scrub and then this sort of smoother side just to buff it. Um, I'm then taking my method spray and just simply cleaning the tap. And again, with the Method Bathroom Spray, I'm just cleaning this little tray. Um, it's amazing how much dust and dirt collects in the little places that you wouldn't necessarily think. Um, and I'm also just doing the shower holder um, and the shower head because this collects a lot of dirt. I'm then doing the tiles. So I don't do this like every day when I'm obviously cleaning in the bathroom, but I'd say um, once every two weeks, I do like a full deep clean of the tiles. So yeah, just giving them a spray and cleaning them because again, they collect so much dust and filth that you just wouldn't even realize. So yeah, doing that. Um, I'm then going on to my little tray bathroom rack, whatever you want to call it, because again, this obviously has dirt sitting on like dust. So I'm taking my method spray again. I use the method bathroom spray for quite a lot <laughs> in the bathroom. Um, it's just really easy. It has a really nice fresh, I think it's like a mint smell actually. Um, so yeah, again, using my dishmatic just to give this a nice clean. And then once that is cleaned and dried down and then just placing it back onto the bath and popping all of the little toiletries, candles and whatnot that I have to put on there. I do just sort of give them a little wipe as well because um, yeah, they obviously collect dust like everything. So yeah, looking so much better. So that is the finishing result of that. I'm then just finishing off the bath with a little bit of Sephora. So I just take one neat cap of Sephora, pop a little bit of water in. As you can see, I put the plug in as well and that will just keep your bathroom smelling insane. Next up, I picked up this Febreze bathroom freshener. Now I think these are new. Um, so as you can see, I'm reading the instructions right now. There's a little clicky thing on the back. So you just press that and yeah, apparently it lasts for 28 days, I think. So yeah, that was in a vanilla fragrance. Next up, I'm topping up my soap. Um, so I got this soap from HomeSense, not the cheapest, but oh my goodness, it smells so good. I think it's like a coconutty almond one. It, oh yeah, it smells so good. So yeah, just topping that up. Back with the method and I'm just now spraying down all of the sides so yeah just going under the lights and then I'm gonna clean down my photos as well and take them off And then moving on to the sink, I am such a divvy. So I took the flash bathroom um, liquid again, forgetting that there is that little dispenser on the top and I full on just opened it and just poured it out like that, which yeah, there was way too much. They do actually do a spray version in this as well, which I have just recently picked up. So I probably will just use that on the sink going forward. But yeah, I love the scent of this. Definitely pick some up. I mean, it is chemical based, so I would only tend to really use this on a deep clean. And then, you know, day to day, I would use like the method, which is like non-toxic and stuff, just because it's a lot less, I don't know, harmful on your chest, I personally feel. I don't feel it as much on my chest. Um, right, now we're going on to the toilet. Again, taking the Method bathroom spray and just a fresh, clean microfiber cloth. So I always start from the top um, and then 
work our way down to the bottom because obviously you don't want to clean your toilet seat and then go to the top do you get what I'm saying like so work from the top downwards first and then I'll just rinse in between as well And then I'm just popping a new Harpic toilet rim block on. I have the pink one, I'm not too sure on the fragrance, but it smells so good. And then I'm also taking my Harpic pine and popping this down the toilet. This will help with lime scale. And then I'm also just going to clean down the side of the toilet. So I'm gonna clean the toilet brush holder and then I'll also just wipe over the bin as well. In the toilet brush holder, I do just like to pop a little capful of neat Zaflora in just to help it keep fresh and clean as well. Um, and then I'm just gonna take my toilet roll and do the little stamp because I always just think this looks really fancy. So if you just stamp it under the tap, yeah, it just keeps the toilet roll together. So it looks really, I don't know, I, I like it. It's a nice little touch. Um, just cleaning this side of the bathroom as well and just giving a little wipe over the vase because again, it has dust on. Next, we're gonna move on to these free drawers. Just in case you're wondering, I actually picked these up from the range. They were about 40 pound, which I think is really reasonable for bathroom storage. Um, they're really nice quality as well. Now, oh my God, these are an absolute mess. So when I said a deep clean, this is what I mean by a deep clean, like cleaning all the drawers out as well. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably relate. I just feel like over time, you know, bubble bath, shower gel, shampoo, you always get some sort of leakage, don't you? And then the bottom of your drawers end up looking all grubby and just a mess. So yeah, again, this is something else I'd like to try and keep on top of and just keep clean. Um, so yeah, I've just cleaned all the bottom of the drawers out and now I'm just popping everything back in and just ensuring that I wipe it down as well, just in case there is any like shampoo or stuff on it. So I'm gonna do all three drawers. I feel like this is so satisfying. How satisfying is it once you've cleaned all of your drawers and you go back in there and they're all immaculate and so tidy? I've also tried to give them some semi sort of organisation. So the top drawer I've popped in under my shower gels and bath soaks. The middle drawer I've popped in shampoos and conditioners. And then the bottom drawer I'm just putting in like body moisturisers, face masks and that sort of thing. Okay, so once the drawers are all tidy, I'm then just taking my method spray and just cleaning the top of the drawers. So just moving the flowers, moving the little print that I have there. And yeah, just giving that a nice wipe down. I also just wiped down the front of the drawers too, because yeah, they looked a little bit grubby. Then I'm gonna move on to the bath, the outside of the bath, and just giving that a little wipe down as well. Sometimes you can forget about that, but yeah, collect dirt as anything. And I'm also just cleaning the bottom of the sink as well, because again, it's not always a place that you'd think to clean on a day-to-day -day basis, but I like to ensure that I do this every so often. Then I'm moving on to my handrail, so I'm just taking some window and glass cleaner, just because I find this, it just makes it not smear, so it looks really sparkling clean after. And I'm also just taking a window and glass cloth to do this bit as well, because again, that just ensures no streaks and it looks really shiny. Then just pop in a fresh clean towel in the bathroom too, and just folding that up. And then moving on to mopping off the floor. I did actually hoover, but I was getting way too ahead of myself and completely forgot to film that part. So yeah, hoovered first, then went in with my mop. Um, I have actually just ordered a new mop. So yeah, ignore this mop because it was only a temporary fixture when I moved in. Um, but yeah, we have had an upgrade since. So that will be all revealed in the next clean video. And I nearly forgot, I forgot to do the mirror. So yeah, quickly just went in with my window and glass cleaner and my window and glass cloth again. Um, and yeah, that is the last step complete. So this is the finished bathroom clean, guys. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all in my next clean video. Bye-bye.